you. Very. I think I may possibly be coming down with a cold. <laughs> What's your temperature? Mm. Ooh. What is, what is it? 101. That has to be my temperature, right? Couldn't be my weight. Rhoda, you get right back upstairs and into bed. Yeah, right. Is there anything I can get you? Vitamin C, aspirin, no, anything no, like yeah, that? Nothing. Thanks a lot, kid. Although I would like a couple of magazines. That would be nice. A couple of magazines. Yeah. Okay, I'll drop them off for you. And, and some books, maybe. Uh, a crossword puzzle. A or puzzle, two. good. Break the monotony. And fruit, Mary. I love fruit. fruit. Okay, I've got some oranges, oranges I think. I can... And you know what? I was supposed to take my car in for a six-month checkup. And I was wondering... Rhoda! All right. Hi, Mary. Morning. <laughs> yes, well, uh... I always said that uh, looks aren't important when you have a good clothes sense going for you. <laughs> Phyllis, I'd like to tell you something. What? Mm. It is so hard for me to tell you this. What is it you can tell me? What? I'm extremely contagious. <laughs> How you can be so friendly with Rhoda is really beyond me. Well, well, anyway, I came up here to ask you for a favor, Mary, but... Mary, do not say yes unless it's really convenient for you. Promise. Uh, I promise. I was wondering if you could stay with Bess for the weekend. It would really be terrific, and it would really help me out a lot. Uh, stay with Bess for the weekend? Yeah. Is that all? Uh, oh, sure, I'd be glad to. Oh, Mary, oh, I'm so relieved. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Well, Bess has her little suitcase all packed and her sleeping bag all rolled up, and uh, she'll come up here and stay with you. Well, listen, would she be more comfortable if I went down there and stayed with her? Oh, that wouldn't seem fair. No, I don't mind. No, no, I mean to Bess. See, Lars and I are going off on our little adventure, and, and she ought to be able to have one, too. Oh. Well, what little adventure are you and Lars off to? Oh, well, um, you know what a, a group marathon is? Yeah, where a bunch of people get together and discuss their problems, right? Yeah. Not that Lars and I have any particular problems, but, uh, well, if it's possible for things to be better, why shouldn't he be? <laughs> Yeah, it sounds terrific to me, too. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hold it a minute. You realize you have been tying up my phone for over a half an hour? Business call, Mayor. Can't be helped. What, honey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure will be neat to get out of town. Uh, how about 7.30? See you then! <laughs> <laughs> You going out of town this weekend? Well, uh, sort of. Well, where are you going, Ted? Oh, nowhere. Just a place. Not important. Just someplace. On business. By myself. Mm, by yourself. On business? Well, maybe one other person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Murray. How about coming over to the house tomorrow night and watch a fight with me? Paul says he's going to put Sanders away in the 12th. But I got five bucks says he doesn't. No, uh, thanks, Lou. I'd like to, but I have tickets to a concert tomorrow night. A concert? Mm. <laughs> Go to a fight. Go to a concert. I can't either, Lou, going out of town. What? I said I can't either, Lou. Can't either what? <laughs> Come to your house and, uh, watch, uh... <clears throat> I guess it's time to go in the studio. <laughs> Ted, you sure you can't make it over to the house tomorrow night? <laughs> Sorry, no can do. Maybe some other time, fella. <laughs> Murray, uh, you change your mind. Thanks, Lou, but I won't. The concert's a one-night thing. I don't want to miss it. What concert is it? Oh, Mary, this fantastic young pianist is playing with the Minneapolis Symphony. Starakovsky, Anton Starakovsky. Sandy's in town? Yeah. Sandy? Well, uh, oh, yeah, that's what we used to call him back in Roseburg. You mean he's from Roseburg, Minnesota? Yeah. Oh, that's disillusioning. <laughs> uh, how well did you know him? Oh, just slightly. Uh-huh. Well... He asked me to marry him. <laughs> but you only knew him slightly? Yeah. Well, of course, I would have known him better if I'd accepted. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, here's the list so far. We have on the agenda, going to the car wash, going horseback riding, going to the park. To identify flora and fauna for my science report. Right, getting stuff at the market to bake cookies with. And last but not least, coming home and baking these giant cookies. <laughs> Did I leave anything out? That sounds terrific. Come in. Hi, group. Hi. <clears throat> How are you feeling? About the same. So, how's the weekend going? Great so far, and look what we're gonna do today. Not too close, honey. Uh-huh, yeah. Identifying flora and fauna. Gee, I haven't identified a fauna in Lord knows how long. <laughs> it sounds like fun, kid. Mary, have you got some orange juice I could borrow? Yeah, help yourself. Hello? Sandy? Oh, I can't believe it! Oh, isn't this great? Right, right, I know. Uh, your concert uh, tonight? Uh, listen, uh, Sandy, uh, can you hang on just a second, please? Um, Bess, could you go outside and see if the mail's come yet? Well, sure, Aunt Mary. Okay, thanks. Sandy, listen, uh, this is just incredibly bad timing. I mean, I can't think of anything I would rather do than hear you play, but I got a small problem. But listen, how about tomorrow night? Oh, just the one night, huh? Aunt Mary. Uh, just, just a second, Sandy. Yes, you. Excuse me, but if there's some place you want to go, don't not go on account of me. I can stay alone. Oh, no, best dear. I'd feel responsible. Well, no. you can get a sitter. No, honey, I just, I, I could. Uh, Mary. Sandy. Aunt uh, Mary. Sa tell him to hold could, on. Could you, could you hang on just another uh, couple of uh, seconds? <laughs> Mary, it is the guy you showed me his picture in the paper and he's adorable. Right. So what are you staying home tonight? When you could go out with him a little best here, doesn't mind if you leave it with somebody else. No, no, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna help you, Mayor. I'll go out with him. <laughs> Sandy, uh, Aunt Mary. Uh, just another, uh, uh, excuse uh, me. Honestly, you should go. Well, I'd feel bad if you stayed home because of me. Well, really. On. Hello, Sandy. Uh, slight reversal of plans here. <laughs> I'd be delighted. Tonight at my house. Okay, great. See you then. Bye-bye. Well, how do you like that after all these years? I like it, I like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bess, do you have a regular babysitter? I usually call Miss Henderson's agency. They have the most fun sitters. 555-2010. Uh -huh. five, 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 oh, oh. Hey, listen, Mayor, thanks for the orange juice. And have a good time tonight, huh? Thanks. Feel better. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> and, uh, Mrs. Henderson? Uh, this is Mary Richards, uh, and I'd like to hire a sitter. Uh, that's right. Uh, for tonight. Uh, Mrs. Henderson, wh why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, well, I, I didn't realize that uh, Saturday nights were booked up so far and, uh, and uh, you know, vans. <laughs> well, Lizzie, could you recommend another agency? Well, yes, I, I realize that you're the best, but uh, could you possibly tell me who's second best might be? <laughs> There, there isn't any. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, Mrs. Henderson. Yeah, she's fun. <laughs> I really had a fun time today, Aunt Mary. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun for you sitting around watching me call babysitters all day. <laughs> Come in. Okay, girls, how do I look? Whoa! <laughs> You're not going out tonight. Well, you know, Mary, the really craziest thing happened a little while ago. As you know, all day long I've had a temperature of 101, right? Right. So this guy calls me, who I've been dying to go out with, and he asked me out for tonight. And this sort of miracle occurred. <laughs> what was the miracle? Well, the miracle was I decided to go out with a temperature of 101. Oh. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. So what happened with the sitter? Well, I called every agency in town. I finally had to call Murray, and he gave me the name of a sitter who was not available, but her sister is, so she's coming over to sit with Beth. Well, I'm glad it all worked out for you. <clears throat> you know, you could make yourself much sicker going out yeah. tonight. Did you tell him you have a temperature of 101? Oh, I would have, Mayor, but uh, it's this rule I have. I never discuss flu symptoms with a six-foot-one Yale graduate with a black curly hair. <laughs> well, you could give him your cold. Uh -huh. If I play my cards right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Well, Bess, I think you'll have plenty of stuff to eat tonight. There are things in here to make sandwiches with, and uh, well, there's enough stuff that the babysitter brings a boyfriend to eat. <laughs> I'll get it, Aunt Mary. Thank you, dear. Hi, 
Is this Mrs. Richards' apartment? Yeah, I'm the sitter. <laughs> Oh, around 12, 13, that area. Oh. Uh, are, you, are you sure? Aunt you... Mary, let me handle this. Okay, who's Silas Marner? Who? She's 11. <laughs> what difference does it make how old I am, as long as I'm good? Well, uh, Dee Dee, the thing is that, that Bess here is, is 12. You know, and I mean, it's, it's just funny to even look. Look, Mrs. Richards, uh, I can make her go to bed. I make my brother go to bed, and he's bigger than she is. So just tell me what time you want the kid in bed. <laughs> but, Dee Dee, this is all very, very admirable, and I'm sure that you're a fine, fine little sitter. But, uh, it's ten after, and... Well, just, uh, make yourself comfortable, and when my date gets here, we'll drive you home. Right now, I got twenty minutes to drum up somebody who can come over and sit. Can I help you with that present, little girl? No. <laughs> Called her. Called her. Road is out. Murray's not home. Aunt Mary, I can stay alone. It's only for a few hours. Absolutely not. Hi. It's, uh, Mary. Listen, I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm sort of desperate. Do you, by any chance, know of somebody who could come over and babysit with Bess tonight? Yeah, uh, see, it's sort of an emergency. Well, right away. Yeah, my television set's working. You mean it? Oh, thank you. That's absolutely terrific. See you in a while. Well, who's going to be my setter? Mr. Grant. <laughs> can I help you? No, I can do it easy. Mary! Hi. <laughs> well, I'd have recognized you anywhere. You look terrific. Oh, hey, Sandy, you too. Thank you. Well, come on in. Are these yours? Oh, no. No, no. no. <laughs> Whose are these? Uh, other people's. <laughs> uh, that's uh, Bess with the long, uh, oh, who is staying with me for the weekend. And uh, this is Dee Dee, uh, who we have to drop off, by the way, as soon as my boss gets here, who is babysitting tonight. And I'll explain it again later. <laughs> and uh, girls, this is Anton Styrakovsky. Call me Sandy. It makes life so much simpler. <laughs> Excuse me, that'll be my boss. Oh, Mr. Grant, it's just great that you could come. Right, where's the set? It's <laughs> a black and white. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Mr. Grant, I'd like you to meet Anton, uh, well, uh, Sandy Styrakovsky. Uh, and you know Bess, and that's, uh, little Dee Dee. Uh-huh. I was all ready to watch the fight, and the two blows out on my set, and Edie is watching this documentary on her set. There's six wives of Henry VIII, eight wives of Henry VI, I don't know. <laughs> and the championship fight will begin in a few minutes right after this word from Cavalier Blades. Well, I guess you're all set, so uh, we can Come be on, on our way. Please. Come on, Dee Dee, we'll drop you off. Pleasure meeting you. Uh, I'd better not take a chance. I'm playing tonight. <laughs> Starkovsky, you got a brother who plays for Chicago. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. He plays halfback, doesn't he? No, he plays first violin. <laughs> that must be a different Chicago. Well, have fun, you two, and uh, not too late, Bess, okay? okay? We'll see you later, Mr. Grant. Just style the tone to set your beard on it. And watch it melt right off your face. You from Kevin. Do anything you want, kid. Just don't play with matches. And now here's the referee, Al Perdomo, giving the final instructions to the fighters. Oh, yeah. Boy, this is going to be something. This is going to be great. Can I watch with you, Mr. Grant? Sure, sit down. This is the moment that gets you. Now, you see, it starts slow at first. That's because they're, they're, they're feeling each other out, mapping out their strategy. See, they got to go 15. That's why they're pacing. He's down! What? He's down! Just don't believe it. Seems like an awful 
lot of trouble for those fighters to go through for such a short thing. Usually it lasts longer. Usually I see it. <laughs> so. school or anything? Yeah. Did any particular grade? Eighth. Eighth? Boy. Well, well, well. That's great. Good job. Um, you getting a little drowsy yet? Not yet. It's still pretty early. Are there any other championship fights you'd like to watch on TV tonight? Not tonight. What else is on? Well, there's a documentary about Henry VIII and his six wives. No, that one I know about. There's the Clancy clan. What's that? Well, see, they have all these kids. And everybody laughs a lot because they have all these kids. Uh, what else is on? Is anything real on? Like a Western? <laughs> So, well, well, well. So you're in the eighth grade, huh? Yes, sir. Can you do that again? What? Crack your knuckles. No, it's only good once at a time. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay. Remind me. Hey, Mr. Grant. What? As long as we're not doing anything, you know what we really need to do? What? Make cookies. Make cookies? <laughs> I don't make cookies, kid. Oh, Mr. Grant, it's really fun. Aunt Mary and I bought this cookie mix. Look, you want to make cookies? You go get a box of cookies. You get a plate. Boom, boom, boom. You make cookies. <laughs> but they taste so much better when they come out of the oven. Yeah. All nice and hot. And you can have it with some nice ice cold milk. Yeah, nice ice cold milk, right. Well, it doesn't have to be milk. You can drink anything cold with them. Anything you want. <laughs> anything you want. Like if you want milk, you can have milk, right? Right. And if I want milk, I can have scotch, right? <laughs> right. I like it, kid. <laughs> Let's go make cookies. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's have a little milk right now. <laughs> Just to get things started. I always hate to make cookies on an empty stomach. Oh, Mr. Grant, you'll love this. Uh huh. Okay, put contents in the bowl. Uh -huh. Add one egg. One egg, right. And one cup milk. A whole cup. <laughs> Easter while I turn on the oven. All right. Um. <sighs> yeah. This is gonna work out just fine. Found the cards. Mm, those cookies smell great, don't they, Mr. Grant? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see, what card games do you know? How about hearts? Don't know it. Casino? Don't know it. Canasta? Don't know it. Poker? No. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> yeah, but it's no fun unless we play for something. Well, I don't get my allowance until tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> chips. What can we use for chips? If you can wait until they cool, we can play for the cookies. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you want to play? Spit in the ocean? Or no peaky baseball? <laughs> well, how about five card stud? I like you, kid. <laughs> Look at that. Huh? 
Isn't that sweet? She's cute when she's sleeping. I meant Mr. Grant. I wonder what all those cookies are doing on Bess's side of the table. Strange. Hi. Hi. I hear those go great with milk. No. <laughs> we play a little poker. Did Bess beat you? No, I just ate my winning. <laughs> well, was everything uh, okay? No problems or anything? No, fine. No problems. Good. Just fine. I'll just be on my merry way. <laughs> Good night. Mr. Grant, I just can't thank you enough. You may have a point. <laughs> well, guess I better get Bess into bed. Yeah. So, I'll see you for breakfast in, well, about eight hours. Right. And lunch. And right up until my plane leaves. That'll be great. Gee, Sandy, you know, it is really so strange. I mean, it's... It's like no time at all has passed since we last saw each other. I know. Aren't we supposed to have changed? Isn't this where I'm expected to look at you and say to myself, I wonder what I ever saw in her? <laughs> I forgot. Edie needed a car to take her sister home, and I took a cab here. And there's not much chance of me hailing a cab down there at one in the morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, look, you don't have to. I can always call a cab. No, not at all. Mary, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Look, you, you really no, don't it's have to. perfectly okay. I don't mind in the least. I take all of Mary's sitters home. <laughs> How much travel time do you get? <laughs> He's a cutie, Aunt Mary. Oh. <laughs> playing in front of all those people, Sandy? Nervous? No, I'm a professional. We don't get nervous. We get panic-stricken. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Hi, Mary. Well, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hello, How'd it go? Oh, just super, Phil. Oh, you want some cookies that I oh, made? Oh, I love some. A little later, honey. Oh, Phyllis Lindstrom. Uh, this is Sandy Starikovsky. Hi, Hi, Sandy. Uh, oh, Bess, I'd like to hear all about it later. How was the marathon? Mary... It was the finest experience of my life. And I truly believe that Lars and I have grown even closer, oh. if you can believe that. <laughs> and so, Mary, that's why I want to ask you a another favor. Oh. Well, sure. What, I what is it? Mary, could you possibly keep best just a little while longer. <laughs> well, Phyllis, I'd like to, but you see, Sandy and I are going out in about 20 minutes. Oh, that's, that's plenty of time. Thank you. <laughs>